Hello everyone. I am so happy that you have joined in. I have learned something new and this is sure to inspire your students. So this tutorial is a specific tutorial for teachers on how to create a virtual meet the teacher uh, video introduction video for your kids. However, this video is still helpful for individuals who are not teachers. So if you're someone who's in business, an entrepreneur, and you would like to learn just how to make an animated um, Bitmoji or animated presentation or tutorial, well, you can still learn that here as well. I have already uploaded a video of my final product of a um, tutorial video or an example video for you to see, which is a virtual meet the teacher video. So this is actually a video that's gonna show you how to do it. So what I used was Canva. So let's just get into it. I used Canva. Canva is totally free. It has an upgrade um, pricing. However, everything that I did on that video was free. So I came to Canva and I went down and chose school. So you're gonna click on school and then you're gonna click on presentation. Once you click on presentation, you will then see a number of templates. So I used a template. I used a template. So the template I used was this mathematics lesson template. So what I did is I scrolled through to see which pages I wanted to use. And after I decided how many pages I wanted to use, I don't want it long because these are kids and it's a kindergarten class. Although my video says first grade class, I actually teach kindergarten. Um, I don't want them sitting there for a long time. So I only used about seven or eight pages out of that. I made an introductory play page. So you can actually choose this one. And what I did is I changed the titles on these pages. So I might have said meet teacher. And then I deleted this image here and deleted all of this and cleared this all off. Like so. And then I added my Bitmoji. So what I did was I clicked on my Bitmoji. And then I would type in pose and I would find a pose that looked like I was saying hello. So I do believe I use this one. And what you would have to do is just to right click and choose. But what I had to do actually was click and save. And then after I saved, I went to uploads and I uploaded my Bitmoji here. And then I was able to add it to the template page that I'm using. I'll say that again. You click on your Bitmoji icon. You choose which character you would like. After you download it to your computer, you upload it to Canva and then you add it to your template page. Okay. I'm not going to go into heavy design. It's just a five minute video to show you how I did it. You could fool around. Now, what I did is I chose a number of my Bitmojis and pre added them. So I pre added them. I chose a number of my Bitmojis and then I pre added them. That way I did not have to worry about anything. Okay. So let's talk about fonts. How did I get the rainbow font for Meet the Teacher? what I did is I highlighted each letter and I changed the color for each letter just like so now the great thing about Canva is that they have so many fonts that you can choose from on the side so if you're trying to do the rainbow font then you will have to highlight each and every letter at least that's how I know how to do it um, but you don't have to do that. You have plenty of fonts on the side that are really, really cool, really, really fun to play with. And make sure that they say free and they have plenty of them that are free that can really make your design pop and stand out. So these are the fonts. The buttons that you are going to use the most um, are the uploads, 
elements and text buttons. Now we are going to add another page. So you can scroll up and down and see which page you would like. So I wanted to introduce my Bitmoji. So what I did was I click or you click on a page and then it says add as new page. It's very easy. And then it adds as a new page. You want to go through the steps of erasing everything on here and then starting fresh with a fresh canvas. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to delete this question mark. And I was introducing my Bitmoji, so I kind of just tilted this to the side. And I went to my uploads. Remember, you already uploaded all your Bitmojis that you would like. And I found her, this great Bitmoji, coming out of the paper. Now, I do believe I changed the paper. I typed in elements and changed the paper. You can do that as well. And then you will go to text. And they have all of these fun fonts. And you will choose a text that you would like. So if you want to use this text and, and type over it, you can. If you would like to use one of the original texts that are preset in Canva, you can do that as well. Now, many people ask me, how do you animate? So what I would do is go to Elements. And then it will give you a column of different elements that you can choose from and you would go under stickers and, and select all and then I wanted this emoji sticker so I clicked on my emoji shrunk it down and I do believe I put it in a corner somewhere now here's a great thing you can close out and search all types of elements whether you would like a moving flower a moving cup another word you can write is cup gif and it will give you some cups that are moving you can write the word gif after it and also get a moving animation that's how i place my animations on each page now what if i wanted to use another page from a different template so i can close out this template and search down for more templates and say I like this happy birthday one and I wanted to use um, this page in it. So I would just add as a new page and it will automatically add to my template. So you are not hostage to just one template. You can mix and match the pages and you can um, you are in control of how many pages you want to add to your presentation. Okay, I'm not going to go into depth because you can sit here all day long, but I will remind you that um, the main buttons that you are going to be using is your upload button to upload your Bitmoji. You're going to be using your elements button, your text button, and sometimes occasionally your background button if you don't like the background. But you're really just going to be using the elements and the text button and have a lot of fun designing and choosing the types of text that you would like to write in there. And again, there's all kinds of fun text that you can add in, 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 each, in each design. Now, when you are done designing, I'm not going to go through each page again, but I will show you what is important. When you are done designing, what you will do is you will click on this copy button and you will copy at least one or two for each presentation. Let me tell you why you will do that. Because when you download the presentation, you want enough time in between each slide to be able to do your voiceover, to talk over it when you're doing Screencastify. Because if you just use, let's delete it again, or delete it. If you just use one page each, it's going to move so fast when you download that mp4 you will not have enough time to talk i put five pages each because i know how to go in and edit in screencastify or whatever editing program you have adobe and you can go down and cut now if you don't have any editing experience i would suggest putting at least three or four copies of each page 
all the way down before you download it as an mp4 and i'm gonna show you how to do that next and then you can write a script to the pace that they've already given to you then you don't have to worry about editing now how do you download your final presentation and now you see the word download now it will say pay and purchase before download first if you choose a template that has an item in there that costs money so try to choose templates that are free like i did so um it will already have the preset in there and then you will download it okay so that shows you how to design each page and how to download as an mp4 when you do screencastify you will play your mp4 on your computer and hit record so here is the screencastify button and what you will do is you will download on screencastify and you can download straight to your google classroom or your google drive or um, to your computer so it is up to you now we can simply go through the simple steps again you will go to home you will click school presentation then you'll start designing you'll click on templates pick the template that you like and then delete everything on that template and start fresh with designing what you want to say and how you want to design it after you design it if you want animations you will use elements you will use elements for pretty much everything you'll use text and elements to design each template when you are done you will copy at least two or three each so that you have enough talking space when you do the voiceover then you will download it as an mp4 click and then you will push play you will you'll set it up before you push play and then you will record on screencastify and then you will download it again as an mp4 this is so easy <laughs> you don't have to go on powerpoint you don't have to i mean some people might think powerpoint is more easier but the elements are all here the text is all here you just choose you're just pretty much deleting and replacing substituting deleting substituting and putting in your bitmoji now you can also put in your moving bitmoji as well and that's using a different app but you would have to actually use that app download it and then upload it to upload so you would skip this part of using an icon but i'm hoping that you guys have a fabulous year remember you can watch this video not just for teaching but business music dance teacher you know performing arts if you want to make presentations for pretty much anything you can go ahead and design it how you like you could even create your google classroom on here and 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 as a way to create it on here and then I do believe you can screen save each template and then upload it to your Google Slides. Until next time, I hope this tutorial helps you out and goodbye.